Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do some natural but glamorous makeup for a special occasion. Begin with not only a primer or a hydrating moisturizer, but a bit of a facial massage to get blood flow going and beautify the skin. This is one of the best ways to make the face look as healthy and vibrant as possible. And of course, makeup plays a role too. I'm using a little air cushion sponge. This is a Korean beauty product and I love this sponge. If you want to match your face to your body, you sometimes need to mix colors of foundation together. I'm pressing it in. Instead of using a brush and like swiping it, I like using the sponge. And then of course, a peach corrector if you have dark under eyes. This is a game changing little technique. Using a peach corrector on dark, the orangey peachy shade will cancel out the darkness underneath the eyes. So apply it only where you have the darkness and this will even out your canvas so that your concealer looks perfect. I love a good brightening concealer. This has to be one of my favorite makeup steps. Comment below what yours is. Whenever I put concealer on, I feel like, ah, like I'm getting somewhere with the makeup. I love it. I'll put this underneath the eye on the nose. If you're new to makeup and you're new to concealing and brightening, you might think about concealer when it's a few shades lighter than your skin as some type of plumping or almost fat replacing product. It plumps the skin and creates an illusion of fullness. So where you might want your face to look fuller or more plump and even, plush even, that's where you want to add concealer. If it's lighter, it also makes the face look a little bigger in that area, which can be beautifying depending on where you place it. Because the concealer is lighter, I take the sponge that I use for my foundation and even out the edges where the concealer stops and that will blend the colors together so that you can't detect where the brightening starts and where the natural skin shade begins. With cream products, it's important to set them using a powder. I'll press this one into my skin and over top of the eye, which will create a good base to be able to blend powders without them becoming all bunchy and patched. And for this makeup look, I want it to be pretty and peachy, flowery colors that are all melted together. I'm not going to bronze the skin, and so I took some powder to reverse contour up along my cheeks and then I'm brushing off the excess powder all over my face. Let's fill in the eyebrows. I'm going to use a dark brown pencil and looking not for an entire brow shape, but looking for little, little spots in the eyebrow where there's no pigment or no hair. I'll fill those little tiny gaps in, but I won't change the shape of my eyebrow. It'll keep its natural form, and this looks most natural and pretty for a look like this. Just like the lighter concealer plumps the skin, so does highlighter. When you take a highlighter above the eyebrow as well as below the brow bone, you get this visual optic illusion that creates beauty right in the eyebrow area, right towards the eye, and enhances the sparkle of your own eyes, which is very beautiful. I'm taking this plum shade with a blending brush, and I won't use the brush in a hard, harsh, firm way. I'm barely touching my skin and powdering that over the crease of my eye. To create the petal-like diffusion, I'm also going to make a little dot with the powder. 
and blending this out really gently until it looks diffused. Find on the occasions where you really want your makeup to go well, it's sometimes the exact moment when you mess up the most with your mascara. So try using one of these mascara tools or a little business card actually works to protect your eyes and maybe hopefully save you a few mistakes. If you do get mascara on your eyes, you can wait till it dries and just use a little spoolie to brush it off. For a lash extension effect, you can add little bits of a strip lash cut into tiny pieces or some individuals, but these placed close to the lash line look just like lash extensions. And I love this look for a special occasion. I'm trying a gloss that's really shiny, but after I put it on, I realize I don't like it. Instead, I'll use this sheer pink lip balm that adds a touch of color and this will complete the look. Something that's unexpected for a special occasion that enhances your beauty is easy to do and will photograph really well. Thumbs up this video and subscribe for new videos and new shorts. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Click to watch.